Okay, we're going to try and work out the magnetic field at some point here due to now a finite bit of wire of length L, going from plus L over 2 to minus L over 2. So we're going to use the bio sapphire law to work out the component due to a little bit here. That's the thickness delta Y. The field, magnetic field there, that little bit there produces at this point here. And then we're going to sum, add them up all the way up and down the wire to work out the magnetic field from this finite length of wire using the bio savoir law. Okay, so we'll set our coordinates at zero here in the middle of the wire. Why not? It makes it easy. So we're going to have this vector r. Which way is the magnetic field going to go? Well, we know the total magnetic field from the right-hand rule goes around like this. So the final magnetic field at this point is going to go in that direction somewhere. So it's going to be in the minus z direction, hopefully. Okay, so, bio our law. What is R? So R is equal to the end coordinates minus the starting coordinates. So the end coordinate is x minus 0 y coordinate is 0 minus y and z is 0 minus 0 okay so that is our r vector now the mod of the r vector the length of that vector from Pythagoras is just root x squared plus y squared it's minus y squared and plus y squared are the same thing and therefore we can work out the unit vector so the unit vector in that direction is just r divided by mod r so it's x minus y zero all over root x squared plus y squared okay how about our length element our delta l our delta L is just delta Y, so delta L, the little bit of length that's vector along the length which the current is going, is just equal to um, delta Y plus a unit vector in the Y direction, so we know in vector terms which way it's pointing. So that would be nothing in the X direction, one in the Y direction, nothing in the Z direction. So that's to take our scalar delta Y and turn it into a vector, pointing in the right direction. Okay. So now we can plug into the bio savar law and we find that the little bit of magnetic field caused by that little bit, so this is the delta B, it's given the constant, be naught over 4 pi. And the bio savar law says it's I delta L cross product with r hat all over mod r which is x mod r squared x squared plus y squared okay so that's mu naught i delta y zero one zero all over four pi x squared plus y squared cross product with my unit vector which is x minus y zero over root x squared plus y squared <coughs> now if you evaluate the cross product so if we have naught one naught cross x minus y zero if you look up the cross product equation you'll find that comes out to be zero zero minus x which is only in the z direction 
in that way. So that all seems to work. It's telling us the magnetic field caused from this bit here is in this direction. And in fact, no matter where our y is, it's always going to point in that direction. So that's going to make adding up a bit simpler because all the magnetic field components due to any bit of the wire are pointing in the same direction. So if we factor that all in, we find that the final... Right, so we have a constant, it's so proportional to the current, um, proportional to x, delta y over x squared plus y squared to the three halves, and it points in the z direction. And there's a minus sign in front there to make sure it points the correct way.